Hey everyone, uh, I'm Anastasia Grace. Uh, today I wanted to make this quick video about six human needs. Um, it's very, very fundamental knowledge for you to know and understand what actually drives you and how to transform your life and how to form effective relationships in your life. And I teach that to my clients all the time you might be familiar with six human needs if you're familiar with uh, Tony, Ro uh, Tony Robbins work uh, but I have decided to make this uh, video and just run through it uh, very very quickly and give you some questions and exercises so you can um, not get all, all only familiarized with the six human needs or your two primary needs but also how to change them and how to transform your life. So, six human needs is our primary drive force. There is something that is going to be driving your life uh, on the background, whether you know, know that or not, aware or not, but it's, it is going to be a goal of your whole life um, getting somewhere. So, what are they? First human need is certainty. Certainty is the ability to produce uh, uh, certainty, safety, eliminate stress, eliminate um, unknown from our lives and just basically making sure that everything is under control, everything is all the same, everything is uh, in order we've got certainties and safety uh, for many many people it is a primary need but the ways to get there is uh, can vary from person to person um, like excessive planning con controlling situation controlling yourself controlling your, uh, others um, to the extreme it can get to um, obsessive behavior uh, having n n having the identity and sticking to your identity this is all mm, ways and vehicles to get to your to your certainty to your inner need of certainty the one that is opposite and um, a lot of people have that as well is the variety need for unpredictability adventure excitement new things in life um, that surprise diversity change um, so that's that's a variety needs and also the ways to get there uh, multiple is through new relationships new jobs changing changes countries changing places to live uh, going going on different adventures being involved in um, in adventure sports so um, also like learning new things acquiring new knowledge for the sake of variety and bringing variety into your life so you can basically access uh, assess and see where are you driven by the need of variety in your life and um, of course we will have all of them but uh, mainly you are driven by your two primary needs the third one is love and connection so that is the need for us to um, be in a community be in relationship being being loved being understood being being accepted um, that's our tribal uh, tribal needs being related uh, to other people it gives a sense of meaning in, in our lives so and potentially potential vehicles could be different like looking for uh, a con connection you can go through being sick and this way at attracting like love and people looking after you or you can build healthy m mutually uh, exciting beautiful relationships for example so it's to any need you can get from a destructive way or a constructive way so um, the one of the exercises that you can do is write how do you get to satisfy each of the needs 
uh, what do you use, what, what vehicles or actions you take to get to, to, to that specific need. Um, another one is like being in nature because from love and connection so you you get to the place of oneness oneness with with nature with the world with the universe or you can join a gang that's also basically you're driven by uh, the need for connection and also the need of significance in time so the fourth one is the need for significance is to be unique to be recognized to be acknowledged to be um, to be sometimes better than others to being significant at least for someone in your life so and again Getting to significance you can get through violence. If you like, if you have a gun and you hold it into this, somebody's head, you are actually very significant in that moment. Or you can get it through acquiring a lot of degrees and a lot of um, titles and a lot of knowledge and becoming an expert in your in your field and becoming significant in that way. So again, different ways to get to the same place. Having children is uh, sometimes a need for significance. You are all of a sudden becoming a very important person in somebody's life and um, some people satisfy that need in, in that way. Um, having a relationship and demanding that you are significant in your in your partner's life and you're giving all the attention and, and uh, all the love and, and uh, all the support there is that's also could be driven by significance could be driven by love and connection or the need for significance so the questions that you can ask yourself is so how do you get to to each of those um, to each of those needs how do you satisfy them or um, why uh, why do you value uh, those particular needs? So once you choose to uh, identify the order the, of importance of each need uh, for you. So for example, if it's love and connection and significance, what is the order? Are you going after significance first and all love and connection second? Um, and why why are you choosing that specific order and uh, that will give you some insight in, in your inner world and why you're making choices that you're making why you react in a certain way that you're reacting and understanding other people's needs will give you an insight in their uh, inner world and how to build relationships with them for example, you can create much stronger and much better functioning, loving or work, working uh, relationships if you know a person's basic human needs. If a person's need for significance, it's very easy. You just provide significance and importance and highlight how, how unique and amazing this person is and how important he or she is and you will satisfy the main need and the person will be fulfilled and will will stay and will be happy and Tony Robbins talks about if you manage to to knock out four basic needs uh, the person is hooked basic if you can get six that's it you got them uh, for example, Facebook. Facebook fulfills all of uh, our six human needs. It gives us certainty. We, uh, we know when we go online, we know what we're going to find. It gives us like that repetitive action of um, that habitual, um, habitual thing that we do every day. It gives us variety because it provides tons of information, entertainment, um, all kinds of things. It gives us love, love and connection because we are connected to our friends, we see what they're doing, we can comment, we can kind of have this sense of connection. It gives us significance because we can, uh, can uh, post some really important and beautiful things about ourselves and our achievements and how great we are, we are and 
um, where we're doing um, growth kind of provides growth through knowledge and through exchange of information and contribution you can donate to different causes you can support different movements etc and you feel like you're contributing in this life so Facebook covers all six human needs that's why that uh, um, that company that social media is super super popular and just took off crazy so it, um, and you, if you, you can have a look at different brands or products um, and you will see if they're covering more than four human needs they're becoming many, many, very very successful and um, popular so um, once you recognize your two basic human needs you can um, ask yourself on how would you like to transform your life so what are the needs you would rather focus on to transform your life and um, what changes do you need to make to transform your life um, for example um, the need for significance if you see how it keeps stopping you and keeps um, Kind of chasing the chasing the, 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 that need for acknowledgement and validation from other people, you can shift your need for significance into growth or contribution, and you can become significant in that way, just contributing and giving more and more to people, and your significance will naturally grow, but it will grow not out of neediness and taking, but rather from giving. And, and contributing so uh, there are constructive ways and there are destructive ways so I invite you to look into your um, both ways and acknowledge them and see where you would like to transform and again if you have any questions you would like if you'd like any help with uh, recognizing your needs or finding a way to transform that please do get in touch uh, write your comments and I will be always happy to uh, to help and to answer and have a chat with you. Have a great day. Bye.